welcome to a very gentle vinyasa class, which we'll do today. One hour of just lovely stretches and movements and some pranayam towards the end. And um, I hope you can all join me in Shavasana to begin with. And feel the back of the head firmly on the ground. Feel your shoulders and shoulder blades start to relax. And we relax the jaw and our eyebrows and forehead. We can curl the fingers in a little bit just to make sure they're actually relaxing. Now relax the legs and the hips. And start guiding the breath all the way into the lower belly. As you inhale, the stomach rises. And as you exhale, the stomach falls. And with that, you feel your chest and your ribcage expand. And contract. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Now inhale and arch your back a little bit, keeping the buttocks on the ground, just pushing the tailbone down, pushing your shoulders into the ground or your shoulder blades. And that's that little arch, now slightly bigger. And we're gonna reach the arms all the way up over the head, stretch out all the way into the side here by reaching the toes away from you. And we can open the eyes and slide the feet in towards us. Arms can stay up high. We take a deep breath in and on the exhale, we drop our knees to the left and turn the head to the right. Breathing into the right side. And as we get a little bit more into the stretch and we get used to that stretch of the right side and the back, we can also bring that right leg further in towards us, closer to that left shoulder. We can stretch that left leg away from us, take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, come onto the back again, feet come close in towards us. We breathe in deeply, and we breathe out and drop the knees to the right, turning the head to the left. We can try and keep the knees on top of each other here. We can see how we feel best here in this stretch, and what feels deepest for us, what feels right for us today. We keep taking slow breaths into the body. And slowly, if we like, we bring that left knee further in towards us. Slightly different stretch for our lower back. Probably be feeling this a little bit more in the right side of the body as well. You can stretch that right leg away from you if you want. Last inhale. And we exhale and come into our back again right into the middle of our mat and we hug the knees in towards us and we rock from side to side. Good, now bring the knees apart, slide the hands to the ankles and push the knees away from you while you pull the feet towards you. You start feeling the inner thighs. Now with the hands on the ankles or a little bit higher, we're gonna start rolling into our ankles drawing a big circle with the toes. And they can go in the same direction or into opposite directions, doesn't matter. We'll change direction now. Go ahead and from here, keep the arms on the inside of the legs, raise the feet and flex them. And you can keep the hands exactly where they are now. You can slide them further down all the way to your lower legs or you can hold onto your feet. Just see how you feel. And don't let your uh, buttocks rise too much. You want to feel that lower back firmly on the ground. Good. Another deep breath in. Feel your stomach, chest, ribcage expand. 
And on the exhale, straighten the legs towards the ceiling, point your toes, just relax the arms by the sides. And we're going to glue our lower back to the mat now. So the opposite of what we did when we were in Shavasana, raising our lower back. We're going to take a deep breath in and exhale, send the legs to the front just a little bit so you're still comfortable. And in the way that I can still talk freely here, I want you to still be able to breathe freely. So feel your core, but not too much. We take a deep breath in. And we exhale and send the legs as far to the back as we can. And we can rise here and take ourselves all the way to the back if we like. Maybe feet on the ground. Maybe we're not quite there yet. Try not to put any pressure on our body here. And we're going to come back and send the legs to the front. Keep breathing through this and stay here for a deep breath in. And on a slow exhalation, send the legs to the back. So no momentum, no nothing. Just see if you can manage with the strength of your body to come backwards and see how far is comfortable for you here. It's all about your range of motion and what's comfortable for you. Good, we exhale as we send the legs back to the front. And we take a nice slow breath in here. And we exhale and send the legs to the back again. Good, we take a little moment here, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, we slowly rock up to seated. And we bring the soles of the feet onto the ground. Hands behind us, fingertips inwards. Maybe bring the soles of the feet about mat distance apart. That's the good thing about mats. They're almost all um, the same size. <laughs> good. Now from here, squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit. And push the elbows down towards the ground. Good. We look up or we look to the front, whatever we prefer. And we take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, we straighten the arms again. We now really um, uh, engage our shoulders and make sure that they're nice and strong. We take a deep breath in and we exhale and push ourselves up. So strong arms, strong shoulders, and then drop your head to the back if that's comfortable. You can keep looking up or to the front if you prefer. Good. We take a deep breath in here and we exhale and look back to the front and slowly drop our hips. Good. And from here, one more time, squeeze the shoulder blades drop your elbows and we want to try and bring the elbows as close to each other as we can here so don't just bring them down but to the sides they are coming in towards us and we look to the front or we look up we take a deep breath in and we exhale and we straighten inhale here strong shoulders exhale push your hips up and if you want inhale and drop the head to the back and as you exhale slowly come back onto your buttocks and then we'll come into a cross leg position, position from here, Shuk Asan. And we're going to bring the hands onto the knees and we'll just shrug the shoulders a few times. Okay, from here we'll roll the shoulders forwards. Deep, slow breaths. We're just getting ourselves used to still feeling the breath, still being aware of the breath, maybe guiding it, those slow breaths even as we're moving and we roll the other way. Good, and then inhale, raise the arms, look up to the ceiling, exhale, interlock the hands behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades, push the elbows as far to the back as you can, and then drop your right elbow down towards the ground, look up to the ceiling, Take a deep breath in and exhale, come back. Good, we breathe in and we exhale and drop down. Now make sure your elbows aren't coming forwards as you do that. Squeeze the shoulder blades, look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and exhale, come back. Inhale, raise the arms and push the palms away from you. So we're still interlocking the hands. Now squeeze the shoulder blades and slide the shoulders down. Good, and we look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in, exhale and reach over to the right, look up, inhale into the left side, and exhale and reach the arms to the right. No, to the left even. Well, you, you get it. <laughs> Good, we look up to the ceiling, we take a deep breath in, and we exhale and come back, float the arms down, and roll the shoulders to the back, palms open to the front. We slide the shoulders down, we walk the fingertips away from us. From here, drop the chin to the chest. Bring your right ear to the right shoulder and keep that ear really close to the shoulders. 
as you just raise the chin slightly upwards. See how far you can get here, what uh, intensity of the stretch is too much, we don't want too much. And from here, take a deep breath in, exhale, roll the chin to the chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Good. And keep that ear close to the shoulder as you just gently raise the chin. So this doesn't have to be much. We'll feel enough. We'll feel it here. We'll feel it here in the side as well, but especially in the front. Good. Deep breath into the right side of the neck. And we exhale and roll the chin to the chest. Now reach the arms to the front, round your back. Try and get your torso as low as you can here. And then interlock the hands again, push the palms away from you and rise. Good. We look up to the ceiling. We slide the shoulders down and push the arms to the back. And we float the arms down. And we're nice and warm, hopefully. We come onto all fours. Good. And make sure that the knees are underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders got a lovely mat which shows me all of these things so if you're very fortunate right now okay we're going to inhale arch our back and look up to the ceiling exhale round the back drop the head and keep your shoulders as strong as we did a few minutes ago as you inhale and exhale and arch and round remember it's all about the breath we adjust the movement accordingly So really go at your own pace. Good, last inhale. And on the exhale, just come back into your neutral spine. So release that arch in the back, but keep a tiny little bit of a natural arch here in the lower back. From here, we're going to send that right leg to the back, point the toes, and then flex the foot. And you want to make sure that that hip doesn't go up, so keep your hips aligned. And then reach that left arm to the front, and also flex the hand. I don't actually know if you say that of the hand, but we're going to bring the fingertips up. We should feel that in the wrist. We hold here, we can look to the front if we prefer, but actually looking down will relax the neck. Keep it as an extension of your spine here, nice and relaxed. Good. From here, raise the arm and leg higher and grab hold of your back foot. Raise that knee and now we're going to change our gaze, look to the back if we can. And then all the way to the back foot here, push that foot into the hand and push the hand into the foot. Good. And if for some reason we're feeling a little bit wobbly today, this is optional, you can come here again, you can keep flexing hand and foot as well. So just see what feels right. And if nothing works today, toes and fingertips on the ground is fine as well. Very good. We take a deep breath in and we exhale and release. Keep that leg high. Hand stays on the ground. Good. We're going to push that hip as far to the left as we can. And we're going to raise our right arm and grab hold of the foot. So this is a little bit hard, so if you don't want to do it, just keep the right fingertips on the ground. Keep pushing that right leg to the back, so to the left side here, but right fingertips stay on the ground. There's a lot going on, it might just be too much, but if you've got that bind here, really raise that leg high. Again, pushing the hand into the foot and the foot into the hand. Deep breath in and we exhale and release. Good. We round our back for a moment, drop the head. And from here we come back into our neutral spine. Tabletop pose, Parmanasana. We're ready for the other side. Starting nice and slowly by just sending that foot to the back. You can point it first if you like. Get some life into the ankle and then flex the foot. And we're going to raise that right arm and raise the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Now again, the side might be a little bit wobbly. You can always test the waters a little bit keeping the fingertips and toes on the ground and then see if you want to raise maybe the foot, maybe the hand, maybe both. Good, and again, we're not opening up yet, so really push your hip down. Maybe look to the ground. Good, 
Good, and you'll feel that that left shoulder needs to be quite strong as well. Now raise the arm and leg higher, again not opening up the hip, and then we're going to grab hold optionally of that left foot at the back. And we're going to raise, raise, raise that knee high, look to the right, look to the back. And decide if you really want to look to the back, since that's too much, if this is what makes you wobbly, then maybe just look to the side. Good. A few more deep breaths. And on your next exhale, bring that right hand down, keep the leg high, send the leg over to the back. Again, if you need a break here, then take a break. Bring that knee to the ground and then raise it again. Good. We're going to push, push, push that leg as far to the back as we can. And if we want, we're going to raise that left arm. So take your time with that. If you can't, that's fine. If you can, go for it. Good, now let that knee rise as high as it can go. Are we still breathing? Yes, we are. Good news. We take a deep breath in here. And we exhale and bring the hand and knee down. Round the back, drop the head. Take a few deep breaths here. And then we inhale, arch the back and look up to the ceiling. And we exhale, round the back, drop the head, tap the toes under and push the hips up. And we start walking the heels into the mat, making sure that we're gentle with the backs of the legs here. Good. And as the heels get heavier and the legs straighten more, we're going to focus more on the upper body, stretching out the arms, stretching out the torso, keeping that shoulder protraction, so not really squeezing the shoulder blades, but keeping a little bit of space there between the shoulder blades. Good. And we're going to inhale and raise the right leg, point the toes, stretch it out. On an exhale, if you like, flex the foot, drop the heel to the buttocks. If that's too much, just keep that leg straight. Take a deep breath in, all the way into the belly. And exhale, look to the hands, step the foot in between the hands, make yourself comfortable here. If the foot hasn't landed there, you've got time to make sure it really goes all the way in between the hands. And then from here, look to the front. Decide if you want that back heel off the ground and the knee off the ground, or if you want to maybe just relax here. And then we inhale and raise the arms and torso and you look up. Good. Now slide the shoulders down. Keep engaging the shoulders here. You can bring the palms apart as well if you prefer. If you've got the hands together and you want to drop the thumbs in between your shoulder blades here down to the spine, go ahead and make sure the elbows stay nice and high and close to the head. Good. We take a deep breath in here and we exhale and bring the hands down all the way to the ground again. We sink the hips down a little bit lower, maybe shifting the hips further back and that back foot further back. And then we inhale and raise the right arm and look up to the ceiling. Good. On the exhale, bring that arm to the back and all the way down. Step back into Parvatasan and walk it out. Good. Hips high, tailbone high, take a deep breath in and raise your left leg, point your toes, stretch out all the way into the left side here, deep breaths into the belly, stomach gets big and collapses, on an exhale flex the foot, drop the heel to the buttocks, all the while we're keeping the shoulders from coming forward, so keep pushing them to the back, deep breath in here, and we exhale and step the foot in between the hands. Again, take your time until you've landed exactly where you need to land. Sink your hips down. Bring that back knee on the top of the foot to the ground if you want. Or keep the leg off the ground. And we inhale and raise the arms. And straighten the torso and we look up. Deep 
deep breaths. We might bring the hands behind us here, touching our spine. Breathe into the belly. And we exhale and bring the hands down. Hips sink low and we might be able to shift the hips even further back, walking that right foot even further back. And then we inhale and raise the left arm and we look up. Good, right shoulder stays strong and we breathe into the belly. Good, now deep breath in together. Exhale, bring that arm to the back and then all the way down. This time step to the front of the mat and bring the toes together here. Drop your head, shake off the hands, bring the hands to the calves and pull yourself closer towards your legs. Again, always making sure, I know I say it all the time, <laughs> that it's not about the head coming close to the lower legs, it's about the belly coming close to your thighs. Good. Now interlock the hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades and drop the hands as low as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as much as you can. Good. And on the next inhale, we bring the hands to the shins and we straighten the arms and torso. And on the next inhale, bring the arms to the sides and come up with a straight back. Bring the palms together, look up to the ceiling. Deep breath in, and we exhale and bring the hands to the heart center. And we walk to the front of the mat, if we're not already there, know you're all there. <laughs> and we're gonna inhale and raise the arms, look up to the ceiling. Exhale and come halfway down, stay there for a moment. Inhale and exhale, bring the hands next to the feet, bend your legs, drop the head. Inhale, step the right leg to the back. Exhale, drop your back leg. So all of us are going to drop the back leg now and sink down, making sure the knee and heel at the front are in line. Keep your left hand on the ground. Breathe in, raise your right arm and look up. On an exhale, reach that arm as far to the left as you can. Good. We're going to take a deep breath in and on the exhale, bring that hand down. Inhale, raise your right, uh, left arm, and then from here, you can bring that right hand onto the knee and reach it to the back. You can bring that right hand onto the lower back and reach to the back from here. So you've got a bit of support. Good. We take a deep breath in, and we exhale and bring the hands down. And from here, tuck our toes under and step into a plank. We take a couple of breaths here. making sure that we're really pushing away from the ground and that we're not dropping the hips. And then from here, drop your knees, drop your chest and chin, and keep the shoulders away from the hands. So push them up, squeeze the shoulder blades here. Good, we inhale and drop our hips and raise the chest, stay nice and low. We're going to raise our hands off the ground and we're going to raise the legs slowly. Good. Keep the legs together, pushing the knees together as well as the feet. And then from here, release the legs and hands, breathe in and push your torso up. Keep a bend in the arms and dig the elbows into your sides. Inhale and exhale, tuck the toes under, push the hips up. We're going to inhale and raise the right leg, point your toes. Exhale, flex the foot, drop the heel to the buttocks. Inhale into the right side and exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Bring your left heel to the ground. And then nice and slowly, inhale, raise your arm, raise the torso. Look up to the ceiling. Gently push your right hip to the back, just a tiny little bit. We're gonna sink a little bit deeper into that right leg, brilliant. And now check on that back foot. You want to make sure that every part of the sole of the foot is in touch with the ground. Sometimes we kind of shift our weight into the inner side. 
Now the lateral edge is just as active here. Now if you want, you can close the eyes for a moment. Good. From here, float the arms down, interlock the hands, squeeze your shoulder blades. We're breathing in and coming into a back bend. And we're breathing out and letting our chest come forwards. Raise the arms and come as low as is comfortable for you. Good. Now left hand to the ground. Reach the right arm up. Straighten your right leg as much as you can. Look up to the ceiling. Next one's a little bit hard. You might want to bend your right leg a little bit. We're going to come up. So with that right leg bent, if you want to prepare yourself a little bit more, or you can keep the leg straight. Now look to the back. Reach that right arm to the back. Make sure that your left leg is comfortable here, especially the knee. We're going to inhale as we drop that right hand and reach the left arm to the back. Good, and we exhale and come back to where we were. Now inhale and raise the arms to the front. And exhale, open up to the left. And with that, your left hip comes to the back and you might bring that toe at the back, the toes at the back a little bit further to the side. Good, now from here, reach for the front. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, take that left arm forwards as well. And then palms, maybe together or apart, but parallel as we sink a little lower. Good, we take deep breaths. Now bring that right hand down, either onto the leg or onto the ground. We'll keep reaching that left hand forwards. Don't push your hips to the back. They're still in line with your feet. Now open the left palm to the ceiling and look to your fingertips. Very nice. Deep breath in. And we exhale and bend our left leg. Bring that right leg, sorry. How can we bend the left leg? Right leg bends. We're going to bring that left hand behind us and bring the right hand underneath us. Maybe just the hand, maybe the whole arm. Maybe you'll manage to hold on to your left hand or wrist or forearm. And we push that left shoulder to the back and look up. Great, we're going to keep our bind here, if we can, and straighten our right leg again. Again, nice and straight here in the whole back, left shoulder on top of the right shoulder. As we take a deep breath in, and we exhale and look down to the ground, bend the right leg, step that left foot forwards, and either now release your bind, come into a forward fold, and then raise your right knee as you come up, or keep your bind and raise your right leg as you raise the torso. This is obviously a little bit much. You can if you want to, just come into a forward fold and then come up and even from here, just raise that right knee and maybe send it out to the side a little bit. So no need for a bind if you don't want one. Good, nice and slowly from here. Release that right foot again. Step your left leg to the back. We're back in our bound um, extended side angle. And then from here, release and reach the arms forwards and raise your torso just off that right leg. Very good, so not too high, keep bending the leg. Take a deep breath in and we exhale, bring the hands down and step forward. So all of this might have been a bit much if we've done some hip training in the last few days. <laughs> Shake off the hands. Maybe bend the legs a little bit. And then from here, bring the hands to your shins, coming into a halfway lift. We inhale from here and come all the way up to standing. We look up to the ceiling, palms together, shoulders relaxed. On your next exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Good, we're all fine? We're all fine. We make sure that the feet are together here. We take a deep breath in and raise the arms. And we exhale and come halfway down. Stay here. Good. Nice and straight in the spine. 
And on the next exhale, we come all the way down to the ground. Fingertips next to the feet. Allow yourself to bend the legs. And we take a deep breath in and step the left leg to the back. From here, drop your back knee and make sure that that hasn't shifted your knee, your front knee, too far forwards. So you want that whole back leg on the ground and a nice low lunge here, Anjaniyasana. Good. From here, raise your left arm and then reach it over to the right. slowly release raise the right arm and if you can just see if that's comfortable enough if you're wobbly then keep your hand on the ground and don't come too high just maybe look to the front but if you can left hand onto the right knee and we reach that arm to the back and then we can also bring our left hand or even the the whole um, lower um, arm forearm also known as forearm um, onto our back here and come all the way to the back Good. Stretching into the stomach here, arching the back, take a deep breath in and on the exhale we come back, hands onto the ground, tuck the toes under, straighten the leg and keep the hips low as you come into Dandasan. Good, again deep breaths here, you can tuck the tailbone under, you can shift yourself further forward so you're coming onto the tips of your toes. Nice shoulder protraction, really tucking the tailbone under, glutes squeezed, inner thighs engaged. We take a last deep breath in and we exhale, release the knees, tailbone goes up and we drop the chest and chin. Then release the shoulders from the hands, pushing them up. And from here, bring the fingertips onto the ground, push the elbows as high as you can. Good. Now, tuck your toes under, straighten the legs and maybe interlock the hands and raise them. Check on your breath. You should still be able to breathe freely. And release. Good. Hands next to the chest. Breathe in Bhujangasana. Come as high as you can here, as high as is comfortable. And then from here, making sure you're not raising the hips at all, raise your feet and bring the feet all the way towards the head. Arms stay bent and the elbows stay digging into our side body. And we exhale and tuck the toes under and push the hips up. Well done. Purna Bhujangasana, so that uh, full uh, cobra pose. Inhale, raise your left leg, point your toes, stretch out just as we did before. Shoulders push to the back rather than allowing um, ourselves to come to the front. Now flex the foot, drop the heel to the buttocks. Take another deep breath all the way into the lower belly. And we exhale and step the foot in between the hands. Again, taking our time here, bring that right heel to the ground. You might want to bring it a little bit further forwards, depending on how far the feet are apart. We're going to inhale and raise the arms and raise the torso, coming into Virabhadrasana or Warrior One. And we push that left hip to the back. We sink into the left leg. The hips are sort of coming to a point where they're a little bit aligned to the front or completely aligned to the front. One hand up or both hands up. Just see what works for you. Hands can also be on the hips. And eyes can be closed. Good. If we had the eyes closed, we're going to open them again. We're going to float the arms down and interlock them behind us. We're going to inhale into a back bend. And we'll exhale and let the chest guide the way to the front. Now raise the arms, raise the hands. Drop as low as is comfortable for you here. And comfort is something different for everybody, so just make sure that you're okay with this. Doesn't matter how it looks. 
and bring that right hand down, left arm goes up and we straighten the left leg. And remember that it's more important that that right heel stays firmly on the ground than that left leg being completely straight. So if you need a little bend in it, that's fine. And we look up to the ceiling. Good, and again, from here we come up, we keep twisting to the left here, right hand rises, torso rises, and we reach that left hand for the back. So feel that in the shoulders, in your whole body. Look to the back if you can, that might mess with your balance, so see what works for you here. And then slowly drop that left hand onto the right leg, reach the right arm up and over to the back. Again, always making sure your right knee is comfortable with this. Deep breath in, and we exhale and release. Come back to the front, inhale, raise the arms, look up, and exhale, open up to the right now. So that will bring your right heel a little bit further in, that's okay. And we are nice and open here, right hip pushes to the back. We take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, we reach that left arm forwards. Left leg, as always, stays straight for this one. We're going to reach that right arm forwards as well, and palms are either together here, or they're apart, but they're facing each other. Take a deep breath in and drop that left hand on the exhale. If it's landed on your um, leg, maybe keep it there. If you want to come further down, make sure that you're not pushing the hips back in an effort to let the hand come to the ground. You want to stay in that straight line. Now open the right palm to the ceiling and look to your right fingertips. Good, and we're going to bend that left leg and bring that right arm behind us. Left arm underneath the left leg. See if you can hold on to your right hand. Maybe just the fingertips, maybe the wrist or forearm. So whatever is comfortable for you here. And we push that right shoulder to the back. We keep looking up and from here slowly straighten your left leg. Keeping that bind intact, but it's absolutely fine not to. So just see where you are. Right shoulder on top of the left, everyone. Big smile. On your next exhale, drop your gaze, look down to the ground, bend your left leg again, and then slowly step that right foot forwards. Again, a bind is optional here. doesn't have to be at all. But if you've still got that bind and you're comfortable with this, Right foot stays where it is. We're shifting all the way to the right foot and slowly raising the left leg. And of course, the same is possible with just coming up into or from, um, from Uthanas and from a forward fold. We can just raise our torso and then see that that left knee comes with us. And if that's where we are, we just push the left knee out to the left. We don't have to straighten that leg. It's not a competition. Good. A couple of deep breaths here before we go back. And on your next exhale, drop that foot back down to the ground. We're coming back into Uthid Paksa Konasan, into our extended side angle. So exactly where we were before with that left leg bend, we look up to the ceiling, shoulders on top of each other, and they stay on top of each other as we reach the arms to the front and then raise the torso off that left leg. Good. We take a deep breath in here and we exhale and bring the hands down, drop the head, step forward and relax. Hands might come to the calves if you'd like to pull your torso closer to the legs. Maybe you'd like to shake off the wrists or just hold onto your elbows and rock from side to side. And then from here, inhale into a halfway lift. Roll the shoulders to the back, breathe in, raise the arms, straighten the torso, tuck your tailbone under a little bit. 
Inhale into a little back bend or a deep back bend and we exhale and bring the hands to the heart center. Great, everyone's still with me. Inhale, raise the arms, look up. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, step the right leg to the back. Exhale, step the left leg to the back. Hold your breath, bring the knees, chest and chin to the ground. Inhale, drop your hips, raise the chest. Exhale, tap the toes under, push the hips up. Inhale, raise the right leg and step the foot forward. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, rise to standing. And exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. And again on the left side, breathe in, Hastodhanasan. Breathe out, Uttanasan. Breathe in, this time left leg goes to the back. Breathe out into Dandasan. Hold your breath into Ashtanga Namaskar. Breathe in Bhujangasan. Breathe out Parvadasan. Breathe in, left leg this time goes up and we step forward. Breathe out into Uttanasan again. Breathe in, come back up to standing. And breathe out, bring the hands to the heart center. Good, we inhale and raise the arms. We exhale and fall forwards. Inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale and fall forwards. Inhale, step the right leg back. Exhale, drop your hips, but keep that leg off the ground. Really sink into your left leg here at the front. Good. From here, if you want it easy, bring your right leg to the ground and inhale into a supported side plank. If you want a little bit more, inhale into a full side plank coming onto the outer edge of the foot here. Raise that left arm and then stretch the hand towards the front. Take a deep breath in and exhale into a plank. Keep the knees on the ground if you prefer. You can now come into Ashtanga Namaskar again, into knees, chest, chin. Or we're going to lower into Chaturanga Dandasana. Good. We're going to inhale, drop the hips, raise the chest. Either legs off the ground, but either way we're going to arch our back and look up. On an exhale, roll on the toes or tuck the toes under. And push yourself back up into Parvadasana. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, bring the knee to the right elbow and try to hover here. If that gets too much, just bring that leg to the ground. Breathe in and on the exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Back knee to the ground if you like, just to make things easier for you. Or we're going to inhale and raise the arms and torso with that back leg still off the ground. Good. We're going to reach the arms to the back. Deep breath in. And we exhale and bring the hands down and come into a forward fold. Feet together, head dropped. Inhale, Hastodhanasan, arms go up. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Good, we're going to take a deep breath in and raise the arms, look up, breathe out, fold forwards. Breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana, or halfway lift. And breathe out, fold forwards again. Breathe in, left leg steps back. Breathe out, sink your hips down, now you know what's coming. Bring your back knee to the ground if you want to. Breathe in, come into a side plank, sliding that right leg to the back, reaching the right arm to the front. Good, we take a deep breath in here, and we exhale into a plank. As always, Cobra or Chaturanga Dandasana. Uh, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> so Chaturanga Dandasana or um, Ashtanga Namaskara meant, and then from here into Cobra, or upward dog. Good. And we slowly exhale into Parvatasan, where we all find each other again. And we take a nice deep breath in and we can sigh out. 
Good, and we inhale and raise that left leg, point your toes. Exhale, bring the knee to the left elbow. Again, if that gets too much, just bring that knee to the ground, lower leg can be on the ground. Very good, now last deep breath in here. And we exhale and step the foot right in between the hands. Hips sink down, back knee comes down onto the ground if you want a slightly easier version here. And we inhale and raise the arms. Good, and back leg off the ground just as fine. We're going to inhale into a deep back bend. And we're going to exhale and bring the hands down to the ground. Step into a forward fold. Drop the head. Good, inhale, raise the arms, raise the torso, come up with a straight back. And exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, smile as you bring the hands to your shins. Exhale, make your way into a plank. You've got all the time that you need here, you can jump if you want. But otherwise, just step to the back. We make sure that we're in a perfect plank here. Shoulder protraction, engaged legs, thighs, glutes, etc. Core, of course, as well. Tuck the tailbone under. We're going to take a deep breath in and on the exhale, come into Chaturanga. We're going to hold here. So if you think that's too much for you, bring the knees to the ground, but don't drop your hips. Lovely. We're going to inhale into upward dog. Tops of the feet onto the ground. Legs off the ground. Push the chest forward, shoulder to the back. Shoulders, we've got two. We look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in. And we exhale and push the hips up. Drop the head. Good, now from here, bend your legs, look forward. Keep your hands on the ground. If you want to try a jump through, go for it. Otherwise, just jump in between the hands. Come into a forward fold. Sorry for the jump through, I actually just meant um, jump the feet further forwards than the hands, so in preparation for a jump through. Good, now from here, inhale, raise the arms, raise the torso, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Great, we take a deep breath in, raise the arms, push the hips forwards, come into a back bend. We exhale and fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Fingertips can stay on the ground for this one as well. And we exhale into a plank. Take a deep breath in here. And on the exhale, knees, chest, chin, or Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, Urdhva Mukhaswanasan, or Bhujangasan. And on an exhale, push the hips up, drop your head. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, bring the knee to your left elbow. Inhale, onto the inside of that left foot. Raise the left arm, straighten the right leg. Look up to the ceiling. Good, stay here or bring that leg to the ground if it gets too much. If you want more, grab hold of your right foot and reach it to the front. So our head is now underneath that left arm. We take a deep breath in and we exhale into our Parvat Asana again, pushing the hips up and the foot comes onto the ground. Same on the other side. We're gonna inhale and raise that left leg, point the toes. Exhale, bring the knee to the right elbow. Good, now from here, inhale onto the inner side of the right leg, raise the right arm, stretch that left leg out, look up towards the ceiling, stay here or bring that left foot to the ground, or even grab hold of the left foot, reach it to the front, good, and bring that head, well the head doesn't change, bring the right arm on top of the head. We take a deep breath in here and on the exhale we come back into Parvatasan. Breathe in here, and on the exhale, bring your knees down towards the ground, hover, look to the front, push the hips to the back, take a deep breath in, and exhale, jump the feet to the outside of the hands. We can step it forward if you want as well. 
Good, hands to the heart center, heels on the ground. If they're not, bring the feet apart and close your eyes. Okay, and we open the eyes again. We're gonna inhale and raise the arms, bring the palms together or apart as always. Now raise the heels off the ground and raise your hips until the hips are in line with your knees. Push the knees apart, so don't let the knees come forwards and the hips to the back. Shoulders should be on top of the hips still. Good, we take a deep breath in and on the exhale, we come higher and all the way up. Good, we're gonna bring the feet even further apart. Gonna take a deep breath in and on the exhale, reach over towards the right and drop down. Good, now use your obliques, use that strength in your body to raise the arms and torso again and come back up. We take a deep breath in and we exhale and reach over to the left and down. Next inhale, we're gonna rise again. Good, good hamstring work as well. Good, and we're gonna float the arms down, interlock the hands behind us, squeeze the shoulder blades, look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in and on the exhale, tip down from the hip and come as low as you can. Maybe the crown of the head can touch the ground. If it doesn't, that's absolutely fine. Now reach the hands as far forwards as you can, squeeze your shoulder blades. Good, and we release, hands come to the ground, we straighten the arms and we straighten the torso. And from here, well, I have to go back to the front. <laughs> We're going to bring the hands firmly onto the ground, bend the legs and jump into a plank. Take a deep breath in here and on the exhale, lower into Chaturanga Dandasan. Breathe into Upward Dog. And this time breathe out, bring the knees to the ground and push the hips to the back, drop your head. Good, and then keep your chest where it is, reach the arms towards the left, just walk them as far to the left as you can, the fingertips even. Stretching into the right side here. And walk your hands to the left, uh, to the right, stretching into the left side. And we come back to center, round the back and come up. And again, you can jump the feet to the outside of the hands or in any way that you like, come onto your back here and hug the knees in towards you. We're gonna bring that right knee on top of the left, right foot underneath the left leg, left foot onto the ground. We slide it over towards the right side, hips go over as well. Arms go up or to the sides, and we're gonna drop our knees to the left and turn the head to the right. And from here, we're going to observe the breath. See if it's deep. How it starts slowing down. And now start guiding your breath. Breathe in for three, two, one. And out for five, four, three, two, one. And again, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. And a deep breath in. On the exhale, we come up. Keep that right knee on top of the left as you bring the knees in towards you. If you like, you can gently rock from side to side. And then we release and change sides. Left knee on top of the right, left foot underneath the right leg. 
Again, we bring that foot close in towards us, slide it to the left this time, along with our hips, our buttocks, arms to the um, sides or up, as we drop the knees to the left and turn the head, as we drop the knees to the right and turn the head to the left. I'm sure you've all figured that out by yourself. <laughs> okay, we can close the eyes here. Now deep breaths. In some stretches that's easier than in others. See if that's easy for you here. We come back to our guidance of that breath. Now breathing in for three and out for six. Now guide at first, but then you can go and do your own thing. Because your body knows best. And three and six, and we'll start with a deep breath in for three, two, one, out six, five, four, three, two, one, in for three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, and again, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can slow that down further just by yourself. And then after that next exhalation, breathe in deeply and use your exhale to raise the knees and bring them in towards you with that left knee still on top. Eyes nice and closed, back relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And then we release our legs, reach the arms up high, stretch into the sides here, move the body in any way that we feel is comfortable. And then we slowly make our way up onto the right side of the body and up to seated. No rush, no pressure. But once you're sitting, sit nice and tall. Smile, roll your shoulders to the back. And then raise the arms and look up. And bring the hands to your heart center. Thank you very much for joining me.